So, bro, tell me how your football career started. Uh, started at Chelsea. I was there from 11 to 12. Then I went Watford straight after just because of personal reasons. Can't really get into that. Too yeah. Much. I went Watford, I was there from 13 to, all the way to 18. And then that's when I made professional at Crawley. From Crawley, I was there three years, went working, now I'm at Torquay, innit? So, like, how is it, like, what's your highlights of all of that? Like, what's the learning curve? So, like, Chelsea, how is it different to Watford? And then, obviously, going from Watford to Crawley, how was the process? Well, from, if you're talking about that, like, from Chelsea, I was young, innit? Like, you don't really, you think you're going to be at them teams for the rest of your life, innit? Like, yeah. Like, it's just high standard, but then, obviously, going to Watford, it was just knowing that I'm playing every every week doing what I love in it and then like eventually getting my scholar early as well was like a highlight for me because it showed that I was actually good enough in it and then obviously like stuff happened everyone understands football like yeah. some people some managers may not like the way you play and there's other politics that yeah. might come into play at times but yeah like obviously you just learn a bit from there like my teenage years anyway and then Going into Crawley, see, made my professional debut at uh, 18, like, and playing week in, week out. And my first year at League One was like a real highlight for me. And everything, every, everything is a blessing, isn't it? Mm. If you think about it. So I'm just like, I try not to look at anything and say, oh, I have regrets, because I don't regret anything. Like, I know I work hard all the time. And Obviously, coming from Watford, which is scholar youth team level then going into the professional football which is first team at Crawley yeah. how would you what would you say the difference like how would you say the transition is was it harder for you mentally like with the football wise better I it, it was, football was better yeah but like mentally it, it made me strong because I knew I, I knew this is first team so it's obviously going to be harder than playing with guys my age so it's like it was a motivation where you, you wanted to do well in it. And obviously, when I made my debut, from like I didn't expect to play at all that season. Yeah. The manager even said to me like when I signed, "Oh, you're gonna be a fringe player. Like, don't expect to play much." First game come, the number ten got injured. I came on half time. Since then, just played the game after that, game after that, consistently. And obviously, that's what you want when you're playing football in it, consistent game time. So. No, I didn't think it was hard though. I thought it was just like mentally, you just had to be positive and just like, believe in yourself, innit? Yeah, but there is like, would you say there's a bigger difference though? Because obviously, like, youth team level, you don't have as much pressure than when you go first teams. Like, you got the fans there, obviously, they got more expectation from you when you're on the pitch and stuff like that. And then youth team, you're still learning in a sense. You do learn at first team level, of course. Yeah. But then you're thinking youth team is like, they're more relaxed on you, so you don't get as much pressure from the management, fans, supporters, whoever. I can't. I can't speak on other people. But for me yeah. personally, like I didn't think there was much of a difference, just because how Watford was set up at mm. the time. The manager kind of really gave me skills to learn that I already that I brought into first team straight away. So, for example, like the way he treated players, obviously he wasn't bad or anything, but he mm. made you like have to toughen up so that already made gave me a head start so when I actually went into the first team environment I was ready like yeah the manager's gonna be stern so you obviously just gotta be ready show your respect and just obviously show good attitude in it man just work hard so and I guess that's what managers like man the yeah. attitude in it over your career you've played quite a few different positions as well as we know what would you say your best position is uh, right wing Right, right wing, wing yeah. And it. like, when you're playing right wing, what like, what type of plays do you look at? So it could be in any league, top league, it could be some people in the same league as you. You've got different people, like, people got different plays they look at and think, that's the style of play I want to play like. Uh, you know what it is here, like, I have certain players that I watch, but like, a lot of them ain't in the position that I play. But for the, for the players that play in my position, players that I look at will probably be that. Like, Usman Dembele and mm. Mane, players like that, like that, are just 
direct, active and fast. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> so they had the players a little but obviously for me I kind of watch different kind of players as well. So like players like Messi and you got players like Pogba, like you just there's stuff that they do on the field that you just watch and be like, raw like that's something you wanna try add into your game, innit? So obviously my pass will never be like on a Pogba team, but yeah. Uh, like just some stuff that he does, the composure, yeah, certain places, so that's what you need, isn't it? Yeah. You just need composure as well. There's so much more to football than people know, man. It's just, it's, it's mad, it's mad. Another thing is also, from Crawley, you went to non-league. Where the first non-league club you went to from Crawley? Um, Woking. And how was that like, from going to Woking? Obviously, then you went from Crawley to Woking. How was that? Was non-league a bit different to League Two? Because I know you had Com- uh, Crawley were um, not Crawley. What's it? Woking were Conference Prem at the time. Yeah. Was that a bit different or was it similar? Because obviously it's a league apart. But obviously can, there's slight difference in it, like in terms of the quality of players. So more t- sometimes in in a lower in lower leagues, you get you won't get punished for some of the mistakes that you make. So. Like, yeah, there was just a slight difference. Obviously, physically, like physical wise, like it's always gonna be hard, isn't it? There's just loads of guys that are just very big and that. But um, nah, there's not much of a difference. I can't lie, not much of a difference. And tell me a bit more, like about yourself. So, like outside football, like what would you like doing? So, apart from football, you just like hanging out with your friends, chilling. Do you play a little bit more football? Like, listen to music, what type of things are you into? Yeah, like, I'll probably be at home. First of all, I'll probably be at home <laughs> playing PlayStation, FIFA, Fortnite. If I'm not at home, I'm in bed. <laughs> and if I'm not in bed for some reason, yeah, well, yeah I'll probably be, like, do it like I don't know bro. I'll, be, I'll be about I'll be in and around my home area in it that's the section there's a perimeter yeah. I don't go past in it so from Old Street Shoreditch I don't leave in it <laughs> why is that just comfort zone a comfort you don't yeah. like getting out of the area nothing like that nah, I don't really like going out <laughs> what, like have you never been that type of person or you just like to relax I just as I've got older I just like to relax but for football don't you like travel so much and think oh, I'm going to come back here one day outside of football and just relax with a few mates or go out there and enjoy yeah, it don't fight. get me wrong I do do that yeah. but like you're talking about my first that first thought in my mind is not to go out if I'm being honest to go home and play PlayStation <laughs> when you say PlayStation what's your favourite game of PlayStation? Like, I don't mind this on FIFA. <laughs> has to be Fortnite at the moment, man. Fortnite first. Uh, speak me for your madness on FIFA. Bro, like, if, if I show you the goals here yeah, that I've been conceded, bro, there's bare ricochets on that. Like, I can't I can't deal with them. I can't deal with them. Uh-huh. So if you, if you had to talk to EA and tell them something, what, what I just They stuff? need to patch the near post head up. <laughs> That's one. They need to patch the recovery runs of defenders. Yeah. Like, oh my god. You see some of the recovery runs, yeah. Like Davison Sanchez and them like just yamming. Oh, let me not, let me not, let me not. Let me not. Let me not. Ah. Uh, so like out um music is all music wise, what are you normally into? Hip hop, R and B. Favourite artist? For the record, Chief Keith. <sighs> Favourite UK artist? Um, UK. I, I, I'm just going to have to say, <laughs> nah, Giggs, I'm going to say Giggs. Giggs, yeah, you can't go wrong with Giggs. He's like, he's a, he's a professor. He's the Definitely. king of UK, to be fair. Like He's always been around for so long and stuff exactly. like that. From, from school days, man. So how do you get for, to Chief Keith? Normally someone's like Drake. Do you know what I mean? To Meat be fair, meal, like, the mainstream ones. I, was, I don't know if we even have time to go into <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. It's, it's a, a more personal thing, isn't it? It runs back to like. Cool, on, just let's summarise it. Put it in like a minute. Okay, to summarise it, he made me see the light. <laughs> he changed my life a bit. Like, in what way? Like, I was able just to listen to his music and be calm and just actually be happy. Because I can't lie, like. 
it was it was probably a, a, a part of my life like when I was up in Watford, I was obviously staying down there. I was a bit frustrated, didn't it? I wasn't even coming yard and that too tough. So. Mm. I was just a bit frustrated, but like I used to listen to his music on the way home or go to the gym and that. Just be like, it actually just calm me down. I don't know why, I don't know how the lyrics don't match to make you calm yeah. down, but it made me calm. So from that, like, yeah, that's, that's the summarise, isn't it? Like, and both, lovely speaking to you today. My yeah? guy. Thank you very much.